G'day, I'm Dan from Bike Biz, and I'm gonna take you through the TCX Baja boots. Just a quick history lesson on TCX. These guys have been making boots since 1989. Uh, in 99, they actually started their own brand, which was Oxstar, and then in 2007, Oxstar turned into TCX, and they started pumping out some pretty cool stuff. Uh, what we have in front of us here is their adventure style boot. Now, named the Baja, obviously for that reason that you should recognize this being an off-road, roadie type adventure boot. Now they do two different versions of these. As you, as you can see, there's the higher, more protective version and then what they call the Baja Mid. The Mid is more of a boot that you're gonna wear if you are gonna walk around a little bit when you get to your destination. If you're gonna spend all day on the bike, traipsing through the jungle, you'd go with the full length adventure style boot. The major difference between the two of these is this one's gonna offer you more shin protection and impact protection in the front of the leg there. Either one you go with, you're gonna get the same amount of foot protection between the two. Obviously the major difference being the the height. The other big difference between the two of these is the taller Baja has got a Gore-Tex membrane, which meaning that that's the best waterproof and breathable material you can get, whereas the Baja Mid has a waterproof membrane. Now that will still breathe, but it just doesn't do it as well as Gore-Tex. So if we start breaking down the details of this boot, we've got a 100% full grain leather constructed outer boot here. Uh, this thing is going to break in, soften up, and get a lot easier to wear as you wear it more. Uh, you've got your aluminium buckles on the side. So we've got three lots of closures along with a Velcro strap at the top. While I'm at the top of the boot, actually, I just want to mention this elastic panel at the top there, that's actually designed to secure around your leg. Let's say you're following someone on another bike and they're kicking up lots of rocks. That's just to stop the rocks from heading their way in, inside your boot, into your foot. If you're riding with that all day, that's gonna suck. So that's a cool feature there from the from TCX. Um, back to the outside, we've got lots of support going on. Obviously the main pieces of your foot that you wanna protect are your toes, your heels, and your ankle. And what they've done is put a reinforced toe box area here. It's quite a large toe box, but if you're gonna stub any rocks, toes, or even any steps, that's, uh, that's gonna protect you there. A big ankle support, heel support there. And in the ankle, you've got your ankle bone pad, which you can really feel on the inside there. It's actually quite plush and, and, and solid. I don't know if you can see the inside of the boot there, how it sort of tapers in at your ankle. Obviously that's gonna secure your ankle quite well. The other thing that I'm gonna show you while you're staring down the barrel of the boot there is the patented Gore-Tex liner there. You can see that it's, it says Gore-Tex or Labour. That's the best material they can use inside a boot. As I said, it is 100% waterproof and will allow your foot to breathe as well. If you're gonna spend all day in this, your foot's not gonna get hot and sweaty, it's actually gonna vent quite good. All right, uh, while I've got the buckles open, I'm gonna show you that these are adjustable straps. They just push in and out of their little locator there. They are a plastic buckle, so they'll flex quite well. But the closure system here, as stated on the actual buckle itself, is a 606 alloy, which is nice and strong. Now, one of the things that people don't do a lot of is actually adjust their boot correctly. So make sure when you get these, you really play around with where the buckle actually sits and get that closure nice and tight, and it snaps in place as well. That means it's not gonna catch any sticks, any rocks, anything out there, it's not gonna spring open. Uh, the bottom two buckles here share the, share the same length. So let's say you've lost one, I don't know how you would, but you can actually Take those, take those out and move them up and down. The top one is a longer strap. Purpose of the longer strap, if you've got a knee brace or a knee guard that you wanna put on the inside of the boot, but you still wanna make sure you do it up, you've got a nice long strap there to make sure you can close it, but the opening of the boot is nice and wide. Flipping the boot around, on the inside here, we've got a suede heat guard. Now, if you're up on the pegs on an adventure bike, you're gonna use this part of the boot to control where you gotta go. So they've kept that nice and flat, with no plastic catchment area, so it's just nice and nice and smooth. And as I mentioned in there, there's the suede heat guard. If your bike has the header pop coming up nice and high, that's gonna keep you uh, from the heat. Flipping the boot around on the back here, we've got some support down the back of it, and we've also got a quite a large reflective panel. Uh, if you're on the road, you've got some headlights shining on this, that's gonna shine up nice and bright, giving you away. On the bottom buckle here of the boot, you've got this PU plastic section which is actually raised and it's raised to the height of the buckle here. That's if you're dragging your feet anywhere, anything that's on the ground is actually gonna skip over the top of the bottom buckle using this PU raised piece there, so you're not gonna smash that apart, which is kind of a cool feature, especially for your off-road guys. On the bottom, we've got a really tacky rubber sole. 
you can see the large step in that uh, in that sole. For you guys that are up on the pegs again, that's going to sit perfectly on that sole and not allow your foot to slip forward. They have actually positioned the sole quite well. If you're on a road bike, you want to use the ball of your foot. They've reinforced that area, uh, but overall, a nice uh, a nice adventure type sole that you can get around in road off road terrain. I'm just going to point out some of the major differences between the Baja Mid and the Baja Full Length Boot. Uh, as you can see straight away, we've only got two buckles on the front here because we don't have a, a, a taller boot to do it up. Uh, both these buckles are going to be the same length, so you can need to change them. The footbed or the foot piece of the boot is nearly identical. Uh, the major difference on the inside is going to be the fact that this is waterproof and this one is Gore-Tex. Uh, so there's definitely worth uh, some extra money in that. But that mid-length size is something cool. If you're going to wear this a little bit of adventure riding and then you're going to walk around uh, very comfortably done in the mid-size boot. I'll flip them both over. You can see that the sole is both the same on the bottom of the boot. So really, they share the same, uh, same boot below the ankle. Above the ankle, you've just got more shin protection in this one. Uh, really nicely done by TCX. The suede look or the, the, the vintage look leather gives it that, uh, that rugged, you know, adventure style, especially in the brown one here. The taller size boot is available in both the black and the brown. Uh, the mid-size boot is only available in this brown suede look. Both boots are available in the same size range, 38 to 48. Uh, we do list them in Euro sizing on our website, so please make sure you check out the conversion chart to see what you would normally wear. They are a true to size boot, uh, so generally what you would buy, you'll buy in this boot. Wrapping them up, uh, we've got the Baja boot from TCX. Now they're a Gore-Tex or a waterproof version, tall or a mid height, lots of protection, full grain leather construction on both. We've got your PU and alloy buckle system, your extra support around the, the toe, the heel, the ankle. We've got your elasticized top on both boots there to stop the dirt from coming in. Your buckle guard there so that anything is gonna skim off and protect that buckle. High grip, adventure style sole. A pretty cool looking boot. The reflective paneling on both at the back there so you are gonna get seen at night time. Uh, look, it doesn't matter if you are a beginner adventure rider or you're an experienced guy out there that's been doing it for a long time, this is a boot that comes feature packed with all the protection you need and all the comfort that you're gonna want to have it on all day long. I really like both of these boots. You've got your taller style boot for your more hardcore guy. I would personally buy that one. I like to think I'm a hardcore off-road guy, but really I'm not. Uh, I probably fit more into this category where I'm gonna walk around a bit more, uh, but you cannot go wrong, wrong with either of these boots. Uh, they, they are very much worth the money. You can check out these boots at our BikeBiz stores or you can find them online at bikebiz.com.au. If you liked our video on the TCX Baja boot, please head to our YouTube channel and check out the rest of the videos we've done. I'm Dan from BikeBiz, thanks for watching.